Hi, gorgeous lady. Oh my gosh, you look amazing. All right, back at you. It's been too long, Drew. It's so, first of all, before we get going, I want to congratulate you on everything. And what a great, great show. You're, I'm just loving every minute of it and you never cease to amaze me. Good for you, girl. Thank you. And I've wanted to collaborate with you for as long as I can remember. I've been such a fan of yours for so long. And I think your body of work is just so extraordinary. And, um, you know, whether it's when we were falling in love with you from Zorro and Entrapment, you know, all the way to your Academy Award, which, by the way, I had a curious question. Um, that some of the producers didn't necessarily want the bob for Chicago. Is that yeah. true? Yeah, it, it, it's true. And, and so for me, when I saw Velma Kelly, I, I saw that blunt Louise Brooks yes. you know, the, uh, look. And, and also it's period, you know, as an actor, you know, the period they didn't have, they didn't have beach waves, you know, in 1930s Chicago. And, I won that, I won that battle. You know, as you, as you get older, it's like one of the things I say to my daughter, because you can never put an old head on young shoulders is like, pick your battles, you know, just pick your battles. Sometimes you've got to let things go. Other times you've got to stand by your guns and just go, no, this is, this is important. And I did anyway, um, that kind of image was, was always part of my vision for the character. Well, and as you wield your Academy Award, it's nice to know that those choices matter. And you talked about your daughter and, um, you know, it's, it's Mother's Day is around the quarter. And I just was so excited. Your daughter's 18 now um, and about to go off to college, right? Yeah, there she is. Um, I mean... Uh, I know, it's, it's just... It's just it's so it's so bizarre because both my, my Michael and I are just about to become empty nesters. Yes, you know? exactly. And that word for me, that term was like so cold. It was like it was like, what do you mean empty nesters? They're not going anywhere. They're just going off to school. But the idea is, you know, when I really sit down and think about it, it gives me joy to be in a, an empty nester because. I see what both Michael have done. And look, I'm not bragging. You never know as a parent what you're going to get. Yep. You know, the best, the best laid plans, whatever. It's just to, to two people come together and, they're, they're, and there's a creation and and then you guide them. And, and I, I had a mother who, you know, as you said, mother's is around the corner, um, who was a wonderful blueprint of what a mother should be, you know, strict, but gave good man, you know, for her, it was manners um, and dis a disciplinarian, but kind. She let, she gave us a long, long, long leash, but we never, ever made that tort or, you know, try to get off the leash and do our own thing. It was, this is where the leash is and you can go and have fun and do and explore and become and, and, but you know, these are the, the these are the, the 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 parameters, and and with my children, I tried to instill those those um, qualities the best I could, and the both Michael and I, you know, when we when we the best best joy we have is when we get complimented about our kids' behavior and their manners and how they're just good, true, grounded kids, and so um. They're, they've turned out great. And so now that, that term empty nest, I look at Michael and go, hey, remember me? Now we go back to knowing we've done our bit and, and we can enjoy their journey, be there for them for support. Um, tell them if the, the leash is, you know, it needs, you need to rein it in a bit, but just be there and, and let them enjoy this time. They love, their lust for learning is just insatiable. And so that gives me joy. And their love of the craft of acting is so strong that even when Michael they're, you know, their brains, they want to, they're doing politics and history in school, but 
their passion is acting and they've never done anything professional, but they would like to go into acting. And, you know, you come from a family where yes. your name is synonymous. Yes, very I think like you feel Michael. a pull. Yeah, and very much like Michael. Very similar stories where you both had to be the kids of. I never had that. I was like, audition, I'm in. They don't want me. I'll just queue up around the corner and go back and stand in line again. But my kids, Michael has said to them about what it's like to be the daughter of mm -hmm. in the same industry, which is, I guess, similar if you're in business. If yeah. you're successful in business, your kids have, you know, it's not an easy way in. In fact, one has to prove oneself more. Yes, absolutely. And so even with that deterrent, my kids are like, nah, sorry, can't, we still want to do it. So, and I've had a wonderful, wonderful life being an actor. And if they get half the joy that I've had, all I want my kids to be is happy and healthy. Everything else is a bonus, right? Well, I love that you've let them be kids. You let them figure out what they wanted for themselves uh, rather than telling them. Yeah. And I really respect the way that you and your wonderful husband um, you Gives know. you a big kiss, by the way. Oh my God, I love him so much. I can't even believe it. And by the way, um, I heard that he notices when you do something different or you wear something different and he compliments you on it and you said, smart guy. And I thought, yeah, yeah that is a smart okay, guy. Okay, but no, I'm not gonna, no, I'm not gonna, it's not gonna be, you know, Michael can't do any wrong. You know what he doesn't do, which mm. happened? Like, I've never let him, it's happened, I, I'd let it go but it happened a few times, is that he doesn't tell me if I got something caught in my tooth. Oh yeah, no, you have to do that. That's like a girlfriend thing. That's a girlfriend thing, but if you married to him a man for 20 years, he's, he's got to tell you that. So now he's like, now he's, he says to me, come here, come here, come here. I say, what, 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 what? Like I've done like a naughty school call. What have I done? What, what, what? He goes, let me check your teeth. Oh, <laughs> you, you broke him for all the right reasons. Well, men are like little puppies. You've got to train them. I don't know what to say. <laughs> they, uh, they, they always could use a blueprint themselves. Look, they're not born with crystal balls. And you guys have been married for 20 years? Yeah, 21 years in November, 20 years, yeah. And you have the same birthday. And we have the same birthday. Yes, yes, yes. I know it's bizarre. And it's so funny because... There's 20 years, I mean, there's a reason why we're together. There's so many things that connect us to this, to connect us, but, um, oh, look at that, that's our wedding day, look at that. It was one of the most amazing days of my life. But yeah, 20, 20 years, but there's, even our handwriting is very similar. You know, we can come from two different parts of the world or two, two different types of families, cultures, and um, age, 25 years different, um, but who's counting, I don't care. I don't think age um, matters. Numbers don't mean anything. It's the oh. soul and the heart and the life experience and none yeah. of that has to do with numbers. No, I'm with you on that, but it, there's, um, there's something um, you know that really does connect. It's like handwriting, it's like we go to restaurants and if we're, well, you know, before COVID, we used to go to restaurants. And if we were on a big, long kind of family, you know, or friends dinner, it could be 20 people, 24 people. I'd be, I always like, we always like to mix each other. You know, we never like to sit next to each other when we go for dinner parties. Because we want to talk to other people. And, and so if Michael's down the other table and down one end and I'm down the other, you can guarantee we're all doing the same um, appetizer, main course and dessert. Well, we're just... <laughs> it sounds like made for each other.